Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is me going with Cube 1 of the Weekly Contest 244. As you can see, I was a little bit, or a lot slower than I am usually. We'll just determine whether matrix can be obtained by rotation. So for this one, it's actually kind of an annoying one for Q1. Uh, maybe not. Maybe not for other people. There's still a couple of people who did it in one or two minutes anyway. But um, but for me, it was you know it is something that you know you benefit a lot from practice and just by doing similar problems. And the key thing is just noting that well, how to do the rotation is one. If you've already done it before, then it becomes easier, which is obvious. Um, yeah, uh, and and yeah. And notice that this is n by n, and that's pretty much it. So I do a rotation. It doesn't really actually matter which way you rotate, so you can be a little bit sloppy about this one. Um, so this is my rotate function. It is basically what it is, which is you take the x and the y, and then you set it to this thing. Um, and you can also, there are other rotations you can do, but that's that's one. Um, and then I, I implement a equal function, which is what it sounds like. It is just two for loops. It should be straightforward. Um, and then the tricky part is just knowing um, the contact or the domain, which is that if you rotate, uh, it has something called four rotational symmetry, uh, which means that if you rotate something four times, a square matrix anyway, um, you're going to get the original matrix. And then that means that after that, it's not possible anymore. So so realizing that, um, you just rotate up to four times, from zero times to one to two to three to four. Um, or I guess you don't rotate four times, but doesn't really matter if you, even if you're off by one because it doesn't change the answer. Um, that's pretty much the idea. Um the rotation will take n square. The equal, the equal function takes n square. You don't do this only four times, so it's going to be n square uh, times n. And for me, you can do this in place to do to not um, you know to save on space a little bit. But the way that I did it is n square space and n square time, um, and a big O of n square space and n square time. And that's pretty much it. Uh, keep in mind that, of course, that is linear in the size of the input, so it's going to be optimal because that's the lower bound of the problem. Um, and yeah, that's all I have. And you could watch me solve it live after uh, during the contest next. The the thing that I just took a long time on because I got most of this pretty much is that I here in this function I I uh, had a typo instead of writing matrix I wrote mat and it comp it compiled it ran but I just had the wrong answer uh, because it didn't rotate so silly mistake um, this is why you should be careful with scope thingies but yeah uh, you could watch me struggle for it live next really sounds messy let's see. Okay. Wow, this is annoying for easy one. I mean, it's not that bad, but um, what is the, oh? It's only ten by ten, so It's always a square. It's a square, okay. So I was gonna say matrix don't it's a little bit funkier otherwise. But mm, what is it? Why so okay. Let's go from something like that, maybe.
let's try. True, false, false. That's not right. Because oh, you can do it twice. Did I mess this up? I did. Uh, I'm still wrong. Tell me why. So da da da, and then now it is. That looks right. So why is that wrong? On force. What am I doing wrong? Hmm. So it doesn't keep rotating. Why doesn't it keep rotating? Why doesn't it keep rotating? Am I doing something silly? Huh? Hmm. Oh, I am being silly here. No, this is... What am I doing? Oh, no. Okay. What a silly mistake. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. All right, Larry. Already not off to a good start. But hopefully this is good. Yep. Okay. Uh, what? Yeah, I hope you enjoyed chilling and going through this farm with me. Uh, stay good. Stay healthy. Uh, to good mental health. I'll see y'all later and yeah.